Hello everyone, welcome back to the contestant battle rebooted. As you can tell, I have switched back to the original Vion platform, I have a few reasons on why I did this, but the main reason is that I wanted to use the business friendly theme and also wanted to try out the video maker they built in. This helps me out when I am trying to make and record scenes, as the lagging in the legacy video maker in Rapper Offline can be unbearable at times. I will still use Rapper Offline for other videos, but I will be using Vion for this series, and maybe some other miscellaneous videos I might make. Now with that out of the way, let's move on with the episode. So last time, the evil demons lost the challenge, so they're up for elimination again. Let's get started with the elimination right now. Hello evil demons, welcome back to the elimination area. How does it feel to lose twice in a row? Honestly, I don't really care who gets eliminated today. All that matters is that it's not going to be me since I have immunity. Hey! Wow Priscilla, that was definitely uncalled for. Anyways, we receive 122 votes with 76 likes and 46 dislikes. And while it's far less than last time, that's bound to be expected since you guys waited nearly three months for a new episode. Anyways, let's show the likes. Congrats Isaiah and Zara, you two have received the most likes with eight and 10 votes respectively. Awesome, but wait. What about our tokens? About the tokens, I will explain what's gonna happen to them after this elimination. But for now, let's see who will be eliminated today. For this elimination, I have 14 cupcakes to give out. If you get a cupcake, you're safe. But if you don't get one, you're eliminated. To start things off, Priscilla, Eric, and Zach had immunity, so they are safe. Glad to hear that. Zara, Isaiah, and Erica each received one vote, so they are safe. Oh wow, I did not expect that. Ashley, you're the next one safe with two votes. Yay, I'm safe. Amber, you're also safe with three votes. That's nice to know. And finally, the last three people safe from the bottom four are Heather, Brandon, and Juan, with four votes each. Nice yeah, to hear that I'm it. At this point, only four of you haven't been declared safe yet. And I will say, there's a three vote difference between fourth to last and last place, with five votes. The next person safe is... Ivy. Yay, I'm safe. Levi, you only got six votes, so you're safe. Oh thank goodness. I was worried that I was gonna be eliminated. And now it's down to Kimberly and Gary. One of you will be safe, and the other one will be eliminated. With the votes of 7 to 8, the final person safe is... Kimberly. Yes, I'm safe. What? I'm eliminated. I'm sorry Garrick, but with 8 votes, you have been eliminated. Goodbye. Oh man. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Goodbye everyone. Now, before we start the next challenge, there are some things I want to announce. Yeah? What is it? First of all, tokens will no longer be usable or given out during challenges and eliminations. Hence on why Isaiah and Zara didn't receive tokens for receiving the most likes at the elimination. I guess that explains it. Similarly, immunities will also no longer be given out during challenges. Meaning no matter how well you did, 
Everyone on the losing team will be up for elimination. Well, looks like the chances of me getting eliminated early by the viewers has increased significantly. Actually, this brings me to my third and final announcement. From now going forward, with a few exceptions, this show will be a contestant's vote. <sighs> Wait, does this mean we're the ones in control of who we want to eliminate? That's right Eric. Well, things has just gotten a lot more interesting. Now, with that out of the way, we can start the next challenge. But first, I need to teleport us somewhere. Okay, so the fourth challenge is to get to the top of the building. There are 20 floors inside the building. You have to get through all 20 floors to reach the top of the building. For the final floor, only the first 10 people to get through it will be able to leave the top floor. The team that has more people that reached the top of the building will win. So now, let's get started. Wow! Floor 10! We're almost halfway to the top! Let's keep going! Get out of my way, nerd boy! Ha 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 ha! Hey, what the heck was that for? What kind of building has a freaking lava room? Congratulations Brian, you are the first person to reach the top of the building. Yes, I managed to reach the top of the building first. You may want to step aside Brian, because I can see two more people approaching the door. Erica and Rosie, you are the next two people to reach the top of the building. Yes, I'm glad that we're one of the first people to make it here. Whoa, I didn't realize that Sonic the Hedgehog was a contestant in my show. No but seriously, Isaiah, you are the fourth person to get to the top of the building. And look who's the fifth person to get here. It's Ericina. Yeah, and I'm glad I got here before that stupid idiot, Eric. That's because you pushed me to the ground for no reason. Hey, I did no such thing. And even if I did, it would've been an accident. Yeah, because you totally like to mess with me on accident. Just admit that you did push me to the ground. For the last time, I did not push you to the ground. Both of you stop arguing this instant. I don't care who did what before arriving here. What I understand is that the constant bickering between you two is getting annoying. So stop it right now or else I will send the both of you back to the first floor. Okay, okay fine. fine. All right then, glad we got that settled. Good job, Juan. You are the seventh person to reach the top of the building. Awesome. Now there's only three spots left. Let's see who else can make it. Hey. Look one, the door to the top of the building is right there. I know, it's quite impressive that we got here this quick. Now, should we both go in to help our team win? Actually, I think that you should go in instead, I'll just hang out here and wait for anyone else to arrive. Oh, are you sure about that? Yes. I'm sure that we'll be fine if you just go in instead. Besides, I already did well in a challenge before, I might as well let you have your chance instead. Oh, um, if you say so. Alright then, thank you Warren. You're welcome. 
Hello PC guy, you are the 8th person to get to the top of the building, come stand here with the rest of us. Alright then. Phew. Finally made it. Hey there Brandon, you are the 9th person to get to the top of the building. Come stand here with the rest of us. Whatever. So now there's only one spot left. Once the last person approaches the door, the doors will automatically lock preventing anyone else from opening the door. Hey look, it's the door to reach the top floor, even though it took me a bit longer to get here than I expected. But it doesn't matter, let's walk to the door. Whoa, what the heck? Yay, I managed to make it to the top. That's right Ivy, you are the 10th and final person to make it to the top of the building. Now, if you guys don't mind, can you please stand on the other side of the wall? Now, let me check the results on this clipboard. Okay, so accordingly, out of the 10 of you, 6 of you are from the evil demons, and only 4 of you are from the great gangsters. This means the evil demons wins the challenge, and someone from the great gangsters will be going home. Yes! Yay. What? Okay, now I will teleport everyone back to the first floor. Wait, what happened? Who won? The evil demons won the challenge since six of their member managed to reach the top of the building. So great gangsters, I will be seeing you guys in the new elimination area tonight. Well that's just great. Hello great gangsters, welcome to the new elimination area. How does it feel to be here? Honestly, after being used to seeing eliminations happen during the middle of the day, it's weird seeing eliminations actually take place at night. Well you might wanna start getting used to the Marin, because from now on, this is how eliminations will work. Speaking of which, how this elimination works is that behind you guys is a voting booth. Each of you must go in one at a time and say the person's name that you want voted off. Now, get voting. Let's see, I think I'll vote off evil Erica. Her constant fighting with Eric and insulting him is getting really annoying. Honestly, I'm gonna have to vote off Warren. He could have helped us win the challenge if he hadn't dropped out of leaving the top floor. Yeah, banking out of the challenge like that was pretty bad honestly. But I shouldn't be the one going home tonight, I mean, Erisina is always talking about how weak Eric is and it's getting on everyone's nerves. Erisina, watching her and Eric are really freaking me out. I do not like watching people fight. Okay, so I tallied up the votes. Those of you that are safe will receive a slice of cake. And the person that does not receive a slice will be eliminated. With that said, the following people safe are... David Jessica Julie Paiu and Rosie Brian Brianna Kate Davy On Aaron PC Guy Dora and Thomas There's only one slice of cake left. Erisina and Warren. The final slice of cake goes to Warren Erisina, you have been eliminated. What? You guys voted me off. But why? I mean, it's pretty obvious why we voted you off. Yeah, I didn't even vote for you and you still deserve this. Yeah, no offense, but I agree with them. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, Erisina, it's time for you to go. Goodbye. I guess I should have seen this coming. Whoa. What just happened to Erisena? Oh, that was our laser-powered teleportation device. 
Every player that gets eliminated from this point on will be teleported to the TLC. Oh, okay then. With another contestant down, only 28 contestants are still in the game. Which team will win, which team will lose, and who will be eliminated next? Stay tuned to episode 5 to find out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.